Hi everyone and Merry Christmas. Welcome to day 693 of trying a new makeup product every day. My name is Christy and thank you so much for watching my video today. Today I am trying out a Jelly Shot Lip Quencher from the brand Smile In Your Ink Dot Redible. <laughs> and this is actually a product that I got as an add-on to my December 2019 Ipsy Glam Bags. And I had never heard of this brand before, but I was just looking it up online and you can actually get this at Sephora. So I'm really excited to see that. This is a smaller version than what you can get at Sephora. This is 0.03 ounces and the full size version at Sephora retails for $10 and it's 0.15 ounces, so five times bigger than this product here. And I actually thought this was a full size lip balm. So I got this in the shade X Revenge. But so, oh, okay, no, this is really cute and tiny. It's got a flower. Oh, that smells delightful. It has a flower inside of it. So here is what it looks like. You can kind of see like that flower inside. It's a clear like gelatin looking formula. It really does smell so nice. It smells natural, but like a sweet floral fruity scent. Oh, so nice. And, and so this is supposed to be very nourishing for the lips. Ooh, yeah. From that swatch, I can tell that this is going to be really nice on the lips. It's almost like a mix of a balm and a gloss is what the texture looks like here. It's clear, but it does have some shine to it. All right, and my lips are so dry, they need to be quenched. So let's see how this is. It does feel nice on my lips, quick and easy to apply. I would say the amount of shine, now that it's on my lips, is actually just about as much as like a Vaseline or petroleum jelly. So it's not super shiny glossy, but it does feel very nice and nourishing and hydrating. So really I feel like the application, the look of it, the feel of it is just in line with other lip balms that I've tried before. I like it, it has a nice scent, but what really got me to choose this product was because of the packaging and just how cute it is with that flower inside because that's very unique to me, even though once it's applied on my lips, the look of it isn't really unique. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I keep getting a weird, unpleasant taste in my mouth from this, like almost like I'm getting like a chemical kind of taste, so, I don't love that about this, but everything else I'm liking. I am going to continue wearing this and do a little wear test because I've realized that some lip balms last longer than others and the moisture lasts longer than others. So I'm really interested to see if this keeps my lips hydrated for a long time or if I end up having to reapply very often and then my lips feel dry. So I'm gonna put in the description down below how this wears on me and all of that information. I did see that on the Sephora website, this does come in some other different colors and flavors. So if you've tried this product before, I would love to know your thoughts on it in the comments down below. This is so weird. As I'm talking, I'm getting that taste of like chemicals in my mouth, which, which makes me feel like this isn't safe to wear in my mouth, but. And I'm definitely glad that I got to try this out in this mini version. So like I said, I did get this as an add-on from Ipsy and I got it by redeeming my points. Last I checked, I don't think this was available still, but that is a great way to try out products because I feel like I got this for free because you earn points on Ipsy if someone signs up through your referral link, which I always have mine in the description down below. And also you get points for all the products that you review on your glam bags. And since I get so many products every month, I rack up a lot of points by reviewing my products. So I'm glad that I didn't pay anything for this if it ends up not being very pleasant to wear. But thank you so much for watching my video today. Be sure to like, 
comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day. And I will see you tomorrow in my next video.